has sometimes been described as the king of fruits. This is the mango, and it grows successfully, believe it or not, in every suburb of Perth. Now, the further north you go in Australia, the earlier the mangoes mature. So by the time we get to February, our mangoes in Perth are hitting their straps and ready to eat. The flavour that we get out of the Perth mangoes is every bit as good as from northern climates. The main difference between our crops and those of the tropics is the cropping times. February to March is Perth's mango season. The best performing mango for Perth is this variety called Kensington Pride. However, there is a larger fruit called R2E2. Believe it or not, it's the daughter of Kensington Pride. Those are the two varieties which I suggest you grow here in Perth. Getting started can be a little tricky. First of all, you need to find a nice sunny open spot for your tree, but you also need to plant during the sunny season. The reason is these plants are tropical. They love the warmth, and if you plant them in winter, chances are you won't have success. When it comes to adding compost into the mix, be generous. I'll use three to four potfuls of a good compost like this Bailey's Soil Improver. And I'll add that to the backfill soil. Then we surround the root ball with that same mixture. The next step is to make a little reservoir by building up a saucer around the outside of the tree using sand or the mixture. Then of course it needs a jolly good drink. One of the secrets of success with tropical fruit in Perth is having a nice thick layer of mulch. So I'd apply a 50 to 75 millimeter thick layer. And this is an excellent brew, Bailey's Moisture Mulch. Aim to keep the tree moist right through until winter. I would then surround the young tree with a shade cloth shelter to stay in position for the first year. So I'd avoid using fertilizers in the planting hole and wait until your new tree has produced its first flush of new foliage. And you'll pick that because of its color. It's this, a real bright red burgundy shade. And at that point, you can start feeding your young tree. If I feed it once a month, from the months of September going right through until April. But don't overdo it. Just follow the pack instructions. And what you use, you can use blood and bone or soil matters garden. Mangoes grow very well in pots in Western Australia as well. So how do you go about setting it up? Pretty easy. Get yourself a high quality potting mix like this one from Bailey's. It's their premium potting mix. Basically, pour it into the pot, stick your plant in there, and as they say in the classic, Bob's your uncle. Now, how simple is that? Now, one last hint. This plant is looking a bit tall and skinny. So to give it a good start, I'm going to cut off the top shoot, and that will send out shoots and give you a nice branch structure later on. A well-established tree like this one can produce literally hundreds of fruit every year. So how do you know when to pick a mango? Look for a blush of colour. Now that's all you need. The fruits are still very firm, but you can pick that fruit, take it indoors and it will ripen at room temperature after a couple of days. And here's how you can prepare a mango to eat. I'd cut one cheek off and score it in a sort of cross-hatched pattern like that, right through the skin. And then you simply pop that out like so. And you've got these lovely, juicy morsels to eat.